week, our sponsor of the James and Sunda show is Neurotic Star Energy Drink. Remember, one sip and you'll think you drank too much. <laughs> I love that. Yes, you should try it. I have. You have. All right. Well, now joining us on the program, we have four-time Emmy Award winner and author of the book, Dear Mrs. Fitzsimmons. Please welcome Greg Fitzsimmons. Yeah! Yeah! Ankle, sorry. How's it going, Greg? It's going well. Thank you for having me on. Greg, it is such a pleasure having you on. I remember when I was on your show, and I said I left you that nasty email. That's right. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> because he didn't call me back. Yeah. It was, you know, I don't remember you ever calling me for this show, because I can't imagine not calling you back. And then when you called me with the, and then the Jew came out, I was like, all right, I'm in. It was, it was like, what, you don't call me back? What's going, you don't want to do my show? And I was like, I would love to do your show. I just forgot you were Jewish. Because if, if a black person calls you to do their show, you're like, eh, it's not going to be on the air by the time I go do it. But if it's a Jew, I mean, you guys run show business. I know it's still going to be here. Don't pay him no mind. Listen, so Greg. she left you in Jewish. Here, she she Jewed me in, and here's the thing I love about it <laughs> is that you, you you're you're Jewish, you're black, you're what like you you have the attitude of a hot headed Latino. You <laughs> you look like you're part black, but then you talk like your voice is like you're Jewish. So nobody knows what you are, which means. Nobody can dislike you categorically for anything, <laughs> which is an amazing thing. If someone doesn't like you, it's you. <laughs> James doesn't like me. So That's because I know. Her, you yeah, know yeah. I, mean? I, no. I can see through all those different parts. I can see through the Latina, the black, the Jew, the white. I see. And what do you yeah. see? It ain't pretty. <laughs> That's nice, James. I'm James. kidding. It's wonderful. Isn't I love terrible? it. It's a joke. Isn't that just terrible? And you know something? See, Greg. She Greg would to have punch a... me in the face before you got here. No, I didn't. I one time threw a shoe. Did you throw a shoe once? She yeah. She bit they... my head once. I don't believe it. I swear to God. That was the Latina coming out. She bit yeah, my head. Yeah, the Latina. You mean I'm so mad. I've dated Latinos, and they, they will. They, they will hurt you. They'll fight. I remember once I dated this girl at Guzman. I remember her last name was Guzman. And we're in a bar, and, and she started a fight with a guy. You know, and then the thing is, the guy can't hit her then you get hit by the guy, yeah. you know? And then she's hitting him. She's doing better beating him up than I am. And which, you know, and then we're having sex later that night, and it's like, I took care of him for you, did I? Like, totally castrated, yeah. Listen, You've done it. Though. I can't imagine it. you in bed. You must, you're in charge, correct? I have to be. I've got, I've got things to do. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a schedule. It's a schedule. You've got to do it. What's the amount of time that you allot for sexual experience. Well, let me tell you, when people talk about preemies, I appreciate that. Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. I have no problem. You want to front load I just front want, load the sex. Just, please, let's just, don't sweat on me. Get off yeah, me. Don't get it. my hair wet. I love it. Oh, you're, I can't imagine you being even underneath. I would think you would be the top. It depends on how much weight was lost that month. Oh, stop. <laughs> you're beautiful. No, I'm not. Ah! <laughs> that was funny. I, I think she did meant the there. guy. I know. I, <laughs> Greg's a professional. Hey, okay. Let's I talk know. about tempers. No, let's talk He's about Irish, all right? So he He's knows about tempers. Yeah, I got a bad temper. I got a really bad temper. As a matter of fact, I remember we were at the Laugh Factory one night, and uh, I was on stage, and I was trying a new bit, and it was kind of a rant, and uh, it was really kind of working, and you were laughing and clapping, and then just <laughs> kiddingly, I went, Sunda, and you were the host. I was like, Sunda, I don't need you to clap in the middle of a bit. It's doing fun. Like, kind of just because we go so far back. You used the name I, of another manager. <laughs> That's what did I say? Did Carrie Hoffman? No. What did I say? You said, I don't need you to help me. I'm not a Barry, oh, Barry Kites client. Oh, That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm making like inside jokes to her. And then the next comic that came on, I don't remember who it was. They all went crazy after that. They got mad at me. <laughs> They're all very This protected. guy went on stage and he started trashing me, <laughs> saying that he could beat my ass. <laughs> well, so I go on my, I had to leave, but I go on my radio show and I start, I say, Johnny, uh, Johnny Sanchez. Was it Johnny? It was Johnny Sanchez. And I start ripping him one month and saying, I'll fight this kid anytime Are you want. Are you crazy? I would, I'd, I would I fight wish. Johnny Sanchez in a second. Johnny, what's happening? Johnny Sanchez, let's go, brother. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I actually like him now. I didn't know him. That's the first time I ever met the guy. And he's calling me out. And then I, I kind of float around it like in the Dow de Chi, like the water that hits the boulder. You don't keep in the creek banging against it. The water flows around it and gives it no energy. So Johnny Sanchez, I ultimately found to be a very uh, funny comic and a, and a nice guy. Yes, yes. But in that moment, he got defensive. And I got, I, I'll, I'll engage. If someone oh, you're crazy, me, dude. I, I get in fist fights. I got a fist fight last summer. Tell me what happened. I have to know. First of all, his rant was hysterical. Okay? It was funny. That's why she was laughing. But wait a minute. And the audience is like... Yeah. And, and it, cause, you know what? Because it was a rant. You know when he, when, yeah. he, when he rants? Yeah, right, yeah, when he yeah. rants. Listen, you guys think I rant. You don't know ranting. Uh, let's, hear, let's hear about the fist fight. I will, you know what? Let's, we got to take a break. Oh, I got to come back and hear about the fist yeah, fight. No, no, no. We're not taking a break, there James. No. <laughs> yeah, you, you bring me on the show and then uh, let's take a break. She tees up a story that I want to do. Let's take a break. No, it's stupid, James. <laughs> you want to fight?